Guys, I haven't modded anybody new in a while, and I think I know who I'm gonna mod. I'm gonna mod somebody new. There's been somebody who's been here for a very long time, and he's become one of my dear friends. I'm gonna use this intro to commemorate the modding of... <laughs> ah! That actually fits, because this person's very cursed. Contraction, if you're here, congratulations. You've been here for like a decade. You can now have mod. Just need six more years and you could be mod. Ah, uh, don't hold your breath, chaotic meeple. Don't hold your breath for six years. <laughs> I would highly recommend not doing that. Back in the day when I was still doing Twitch, I was modding somebody new every year. It's not just about somebody who would be a good mod. So much more of it also has to do with uh, being in touch with my humor and what's too far and what isn't. Not only does Joey get my humor, I think Joey is better at my humor than I am. One of my, my chaos mods, I, I modded LG34. What I liked about LG was he was absolutely at the dick edge of what I consider to be too far. Where I'm like, hmm... Is that something LG would say or no? And if it isn't, then I would ban them. <laughs> the really shiny gold Family Jewel 7X one was, was done by LG. Yeah. This A button sticks. Joy and glad, baby! Yeah. This A button sticks. The stick is so nice on this controller, but the A button fucking sticks. What if I coat it in fucking dry and glide? I'm just gonna pour this fucking bottle of dry and glide right in there and just... Mmm. <laughs> Jack, can you don't? Bro, Jack, dry and glide, baby. You've created this beast. Let me make a shirt that says, can you don't? I feel like that's already that already has to be a thing. I have too many ideas for shirts that just say words on it. I need like pictures. <laughs> when you wink at you and say, dry and glide. I like bite the pillow, I'm going in dry and glide. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do the blue controller again. The stick is a little weird. We'll just keep that in mind. Dry and glide, baby. Fuck! No! I don't want it! <laughs> hey Joey, what's up? That's why Joey is now my new mod. Get in there, you son of a bitch! What was wrong with the black controller? I don't remember what it was, so... Gray one, A button sticks. Blue one, the stick doesn't work right. Haha, <laughs> penis joke. I honestly, like, even though we have Wario laughing, I think Mario screaming would be a good one. Just like... <laughs> like, out of nowhere, it would be really good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ho ho! I am a god! Fuck you. Come on, dude. Banjo and Smash. Oh my god. See, that's a great one. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna make some memes really quick. Give me the butter. Yeah, I want give me the butter. This is my game of the year every year. I'm very hungry. Give me the french fries. This is the one that they they like fuck it all up. I, I'd rather yeah, give me the butter. Give me the butter. That's soda, no. you idiot. Give me the butter. You fucked it up! I needed to just give me the butter and you threw fucking like Kodo Africa over it. The butter, please. Give me the butter. Thank you! Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit. Oh man, that's that's fucking gold. Give me the butter. <laughs> give me the butter. <laughs> God. Put some clean echo. Yeah, I agree. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Give me the butter. <laughs> All right, guys, that's that's pretty good. Let's do some more Mario runs. You think? You think so? You guys think so? You guys think some more Mario? 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 First run. Give it up for the first run. Banjo and Smash! Oh, that one's loud. <laughs> I'm getting to the point where I, I'm starting to feel like I can I can try to start going for the faster start here. Pretty soon we should start practicing the um, the early cycle for that. Like now. Let's not add that to the run right now. Let's just keep going it. First run of the day! Yeah! Okay. <gasps> oh my god, are you serious? How more wrong could that have gone? That one has been so weird to me lately. That one probably won't work, but that one might. Nope. I don't get it. It used to be so consistent as long as I got the right foot lined up perfectly with it. His right foot would line up with that. So that would work every time. Don't tell me. Of course. Of course. Fuck you, Goomba. I hope this PB so that this is the PB that I murdered a Goomba with a box in the beginning. Can I ask you one of those would you rather questions? Why is everyone asking me if they can ask me questions? Just ask me questions. Can I ask you to ask you a question? I'd like to ask if I can ask you a question, if that's okay. Would you rather answer one question or no questions? I'd rather PB in Mario 64. I'm just gonna start being a dad and just be like, I don't care what the question is. I'm just saying no. Yes! Oh my god, I got it! I finally fucking did it! And then I fucked that up, but oh my god! I did the jump! I fucking did the jump! Ah! Why was that so hard? It was fucking blotchy and blumpy as fuck, and it worked. You jump good. 
That Josh clip is gonna scare the shit out of me. Needs to hit as final Bowser gets hit. Dude, that would be so hype. I guarantee you it's gonna happen like while I'm trying to really focus, get my lash throw in on Bowser, and it'll just be a bad smash and it'll fuck up my throw. That's kind of weird. No, no fucking Ugh. Damn it! The second I made that jump, I knew I fucked up. Has anyone ever kicked a soccer ball in your balls? That happened to me once or twice. Have you ever had a fucking cleat to the balls? That's fun. It's never happened to me before, but I'm sure it's fun. I feel like the mistakes I've been making in these runs using this controller have all been my fault. Tell us your worst nut kick story. So we had this game at my, my old middle school, high school. It's really weird because the school is really expensive, but they really fucking cut budgets. They had these really shitty like sticks with these like foam pads on them that looked like they probably cost like 50 cents each. Now, nah, I mean, maybe a little bit more than that. They were pretty robust, but we used them for a sport we called pillow polo, which was essentially a mix between soccer and hockey. Where there were two goals on each side and you used the pillow polo stick to hit the soccer ball into the goal. And the goal was very small and some fucking random guy thought it'd be really funny to hit me in the nuts with one. And that's the story. I was on the ground for a good long time after that. So the other time I was hitting the balls was, um, I was playing a show with Thunderforge with our, not our first drummer, but our second drummer. He was on the phone and I was waiting for him to get off the phone. And I'm like, yo dude, we gotta go. I didn't think he heard me. So I was like, yo, let me know when you're done with your phone call so we can go. And then uh, he just kicked me in the nuts for no reason. And it hurt like hell. Yeah, he was a nice guy. It seemed like that was just like something that was funny to him. And we always kind of felt like the, the humor didn't really line up. I'd have different creative differences with chewing ass. Me too. Tell us a random story. I'll tell you a random story. I promise I'm not making fun of you, Amanda. But one time we were playing VR chat. It was Adriana and me. And somebody came up to me and was like, hey, tell me a story. And I was like, I don't, I don't know. And he was like, how old are you? I'm like, 28. He's like, Tell me you're 28 and you don't have any fucking crazy stories? And I'm like, I don't know, man. So, so then I was just like, uh, one time I uploaded a video of my doorbell and it got like 10 million views for like no fucking reason at all. He's like, damn, that's crazy. I was like thinking to myself, I'm like, are you just walking around asking people like for their crazy stories so you can fucking say, damn, that's crazy? Like I remember Adriana started telling him a story and he was, he was just like, damn, that's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. Sometimes it's hard to pick up on social cues, but if somebody says, damn, that's crazy three times, stop telling the story. Three damn, that's crazies, the story's over. If you've gotten to the point where you've said the same thing three times and you don't even remember the other two and you're just repeating yourself, yeah. It's not a very good story. How do you end up TRG and Adriana? Okay, so so I met Adriana at MAGFest. I think she was there with uh, Amanda Lee and I was there with um, Sebastian Wolf. <laughs> damn, that's crazy. I like that. <laughs> damn, that's crazy. Oh my God, who added that? Del, Del come on. <laughs> <laughs> Del. This is why nobody could ever be a better mod than Dell. My origin story with Adrian is one of my favorites. She walked up to me, this very small, five foot, little preppy girl. She goes, hi, I'm Adriana. I'm like, hi, I'm Jules. You know, for whatever reason, I was like, yeah, I've got a YouTube channel. I, I make uh, metal guitar covers of video game music. And she was like, oh yeah, I think I'm subscribed to you. And I looked, to, I looked at her and I'm like, no, you don't. My third sentence to Adriana, was me calling her out for lying to me. She was like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I do. I was like, there's no fucking way uh, this five foot preppy girl listens to heavy metal video game remixes on YouTube. I definitely judged the shit out of her. I can't believe I had that much fucking like confidence, you know, with somebody like to just be like, no, no, you're not. There's no way. I met Emil and Massey through Adriana because Adriana was friends with uh, them. And then I met TRG through them and the rest, as they say, is his story. I thought John said a few streams ago, he didn't get to really know you and Adrian till about Coliseum. We didn't really talk too much when we were doing throne controllers. It wasn't until Coliseum that we really started kind of talking. It was kind of, I think out of the blue for John, for me to be like, all right, John, I know you like video games. Try to guess these 50 songs. Kind of like, he was like, oh, okay. Random spiky guitar dude. How did that one not work? The villager Kyle is me in Animal Crossing. I'm not familiar with Kyle. Kyle is a wolf. So you're telling me I'm a furry? Sick. Furries are cool. Ooh. Oh, God damn it. You know what? I'm gonna play Mario every day. Every day, mom. Mom said it's my turn to play Mario every day. The runs have been, uh, so this is the first. What? What the fuck? Did you almost cheat? Okay, that's my coin. That's the one coin I can miss. Mm. 
Today is weird. Today is a weird day. Everything feels weird. We are fucking drying and gliding. Mm, 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 mm. Dry glide. I don't even know if this is actually working. Biggest rage quit you had? I don't fucking know. Oh, one time um, back in the day when I was really cool, I used to stream Minecraft. I did this thing called vegetarian hardcore mode where I had to play Minecraft hardcore, but I couldn't eat any animals. Creeper blew me up during my third hardcore run. Turned the stream off and... Ride. Don't give me three damn that's crazies. No, don't do it. No. This is literally like that part in the fucking VR chat stream where like the guy kept asking me to tell stories and then I would start telling a story and like immediately start saying, damn, that's crazy. I'm sure he was like trying to like fucking film people telling stories and wanted to be like one of those like VR chat YouTubers or whatever. Some people are great interviewers. Like there's that one channel we were watching that did VR chat and it was it was cool because he himself was like asking like really good questions and stuff like that. But like yeah, if you just try to make your content by being like, dude tells wild story on VR chat with a big red arrow pointing at the story. I don't fucking know. This is how to be a YouTuber, everybody. The title has to be blank, but it's blank. There has to be a red arrow, a red circle in your thumbnail, probably boobs, preferably an anime girl face, but pretty much huge. You're an instant YouTuber. Congratulations. Maybe it Yeah, it has to be like a but, but it's it. <laughs> Jack, I'm gonna make that one of my Mario highlights videos. This is gonna be like, but, but it's it. The thumbnail is just gonna be a red arrow and a red circle, but nothing in it. A red circle with a red arrow around it. What about a red arrow pointing at a circle with a red arrow pointing at a circle? And it just keeps going. <laughs> like, oh. That's what I get. No, that's what I get. That's what I get.